Yo, fine scouts and intrepid internet travelers. Welcome to my channel. I'm Josh, your binge buffoon, if you will have me. Today, I will be leaving the comfort of my vault, or be forced to probably, journeying into the wasteland. Hopefully it's good, not a byproduct of the cash-grabbing culture war. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't want to set the world on fire. War. War never changes. I think now we live in an age where there's actually like a 45% chance that there might be a quality adaptation of a video game. An anime. Manga. We've all grown very used to the age where our IPs, this still happens. I, I don't know why I'm talking like this right now. Obviously, way too often, IPs get hijacked by studios, streaming services, whoever, and then castrated for the sake of dollar signs. Fan base is manipulated into thinking this might be something worthwhile, but really, what you're about to watch just has the same title as something you love and is really just generic. Generic whatever, whatever the genre may be. But I don't think that's going to be the case with Fallout. I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of Fallout. Uh, I played 3 and New Vegas. Those are the only Fallout games I've played. I might have tinkered around with some of the earlier ones, but I don't vividly remember playing those games. I loved Fallout 3. Fallout in general is, is kind of satire. It's a dramedy, which is what I expect this to be. And it's so ingenious in that way, right? Because we're talking about the end of the world. And the only way to properly deconstruct what that is in its entirety is to make fun of the cause, which is humanity. And that's what I think is so special about Fallout in general as a series. And I hope they nail that here. I hope they nail the tone, which is going to be difficult. I know this comes from the creative minds of Jonathan Nolan and Lisa Joy. I loved Westworld. In its first season, I thought the first season of Westworld was truly something special. I didn't keep up with the series past three. Aaron Paul showed up. It was okay. Regardless, this pairing has talent. Not to take anything away from Lisa Joy, but it's Jonathan Nolan. Christopher, his brother, I believe his baby brother. Who's older here? Oh, no. Jonathan's the younger one. But Jonathan... Worked on a lot of scripts with Christopher. Jonathan did a great job with Batman Begins. The entire Dark Knight trilogy. I know he takes IP seriously because of that. You have to assume. Revered IPs. Like Fallout like this. I guess I more or less covered the main reason I'm excited for this. But I also want to say that I'm a huge Last of Us fan. More so than Fallout. The Last of Us was a very competent ad adaptation. However, as someone who loved the first game so much, I did have issues with how it approached that story, even though I know a lot of people are like, what do you mean? It was an extremely faithful adaptation. There were certain things that were very different. HBO's adaptation of The Last of Us was just never going to live up to the execution of the game, narratively. Both because of the medium and how much time that medium has to develop characters and plot and stuff and cement you in the world, but... Because I just believe that first game was perfect in its approach. So I think it's an incredibly wise decision of the big people behind this show to decide it's better to just write a new story and put it in the world. Because that negates a lot of the issues you run into when you're casting characters or rewriting a beloved tale. Yeah, the trailer for this looked dope. And maybe I just thought that because right before I watched the trailer for Fallout, I watched the trailer for Borderlands, which looks terrible. That's going to be a terrible video game adaptation. Sorry, Kevin Hart. You're terribly cast. Yeah. In the Nolans we pray. I think that's all I have to say. Reaction channel. Let's ride the coattails of other people's art. So to quickly recap my intro, because I feel like there's still more I want to say. Borderlands looks like a blatant cash grab. They're just cashing in on that IP. This, I expect, won't be that. I'm reading the synopsis. Based on one of the greatest video games of all time. Wow. I mean, yeah. I like that that was a preface to the rest of it. Yes. S yes. Establish that you got your work cut out for you. And then tackle the task head on. Followed is the story of haves and have-nots in a world in which there is almost nothing left to have. 
Love that as well. See, this is Jonathan Nolan. This is, I don't actually know if he wrote this. He definitely didn't write that. They just hire random people to write the blurbs. Never mind. Here's after the apocalypse, the gentle denizens, luxury follow shelters, vaults, are forced to return to the incredibly complex, gleefully weird, and highly violent universe waiting for them above. I almost hope that the violence in this is like live action Invincible or something. It should be kind of over the top in a comedic way. Almost Tarantino-esque. Speaking of that, Walton Goggins is in this. I love me some Walton Goggins. Loved him in Justified as Boyd. I mean, I don't think he got enough recognition for that performance. He was also in The Hateful Eight. It's a Tarantino film. That's why I bring it up. All right, I spent way too much time rambling, and new people on my channel aren't going to listen to any of that shit. Also, it's crazy we have all the episodes already. And it's Kevin Hart. This is my ad right now. It's Kevin Hart with DraftKings. Hold on. I'm going to quick try and run or get a water before he's gone. Well, I'm not going to be able to do it. Yes, I will. Amazon MGM Studios. I like that they're using this. The retro tech. Bethesda Game Studios. Matt King Cole. The end. I love the era in which the world ended too, or the decade, you know? Orange colored sky. Black. 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 That's right, Walt Goggins is like a cowboy, like probably a movie star. No. He's like a party cowboy. Like a clown, basically. Negotiations were scheduled to continue today as the White House had no comment about the president's whereabouts. We really shifted tone immediately. That was cool. Here's his final. The party. Let's just focus on the party, okay? I don't know much about how and why the bombs were dropped in the universe of Fallout. I imagine they're going to adapt that relatively accurately to whatever the lore is. Why the hell is Cooper Howard in the game's universe? Birthday parties. What else? Cooper Howard. Oh, so he is a movie star or something. Hey, honey, honey, give a Cooper. Let's get a picture. Oh, Coop, 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 do your thumbs up. Yeah, you know, given the state of everything, I prefer not to if that's all right. Makes sense. Why not? World's terrible. Is that Los Angeles sunshine coming through? Ow, I can't. I, I'm sorry, I can't do this. I can't do the weather if I don't even know if there's going to be a next week. Only thinking happy thoughts I'm not, today. There's a solo bubble. <laughs> Why wouldn't you do it? The thumbs up. Because there's a war on, little girl. That's grown up stuff. Yeah. Well, back when I was in the Marines, they taught us that if they ever drop a really big bomb, get under a desk. Hold up your thumb just like this. Uh oh. And if the cloud is smaller than your thumb, now you run for the hills. And if it's bigger than your thumb, it's over. This is going to come back around. He's gonna look. This is how he becomes a ghoul. But us cow folks, we take it as it comes, right? I hope this makes this motherfucker so much more famous, because he's awesome. I love Walt Goggins. He's gonna be so tortured and sad in this, too, because his, his daughter's gonna die. All right, one piece of cake coming up from my favorite cowgirl. Oh God, I like that we just left. Is your thumb yeah. or mine? The camera just stayed with her. That's smoke, Janie. It's just a fire. Find her. We're just gonna watch the mushroom cloud get bigger and bigger. Oh, maybe he he did, isn't realizing until now. Wow. Well, they do it. They have bomb shot. You can outrun it on the horse. Well, you can't outrun this. Wow, this looks so good. Not for them. I just mean the show. Oh, shit, dude! How many bobs are getting dropped right now? 
We can't outrun all that. That was one hell of a cold open. That was fucking fantastic. Like, you couldn't write that any better. For his character and to set the stage. 219 years later! My name is Lucy McLean, and I'm an active contributor to the. And you're very naive and very happy. I enjoy participating in the Young Pipers Association, which keeps me active. <laughs> Science skills. Obviously, mine are nothing compared to my dad's, but I always relish a challenge. Oh, I love this guy. He's perfectly cast to be in this show. Creepy and happy, you know. What's he from? Uh, Twin Peaks. And I dabble in riflery. Though, so I'm not very good. Dad. Gardening, also with my dad. I'm participating in my family book club. It feels like one of those commercials in the game, you know? Except they're not animated. And yet, I have been unable to oh, there he is. find a suitable marriage partner. The guy, the little boy. The mascot, you know, the vault. It is with sound mind and body that I hereby submit my application to the council to participate in the triennial trade with Vault 32. Oh, Vault Tech. Vats. Yeah. Look. Vats is the targeting system. I meant to say Pip Boy here. I'm embarrassed by it. Please be kind. I'm terrified by passionate fans because I am one in many cases and I scare myself. I played Fallout 3 in New Vegas when they came out and I haven't since. Fallout 3 I spent a lot more time with. New Vegas, I barely remember to be honest with you. Something about we were couriers and everyone wanted control of a dam. Yeah, it's been a long time. Lucy. Getting married? Feels a little tight. Won't be for long. On my wedding night, that dress got off almost as fast as Bert did. <laughs> hey, one in five. It's not because uncommon. Ten years of cousin stuff. I'm definitely excited for the real thing. <laughs> what? Oh, I gotcha. I was gonna say, that's pretty dope. Were you scared? When you married Mom? Me? <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd never stepped foot outside Vault 31. When did it go away? The moment I met your mother. Overseer? It's time. Overseer? I'm still thinking about that opening with Cooper, Walt Goggins. That was very well done. It excites people who are familiar with the franchise, and I'm sure very much hooks newcomers. That's right. And in that respect, you could be a cannibal or just like Cran. What's your name, Norman? Wait. Oh, so she doesn't even know who her husband is. Really. Honestly. The textbook Tumblr Jam. It's going to take some time to fix. Probably best if we reschedule with the 32s until maintenance and I can... Yeah. Oh, he's in love with her. Lucy, I love you. Yeah. I kind of love her too, to be fair, but I, that happens a lot we for me. We all know that, Jen. <laughs> it's, your cousin. it's all well and good for a kid. Oh, Jesus, I didn't misinterpret that before. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? Before? And then I was like, I'll just cut that out. Maybe I misinterpreted that. That's brilliant, because it's probably true to life, and it's hilarious. And that's what this show... She needs to be true to life and hilarious, you know. I'm not saying hook up with your cousin. Don't fucking do that. I just meant in this scenario. You know what I mean. People would totally hook up with their cousins, not just Jonah Hill and Wolf of Wall Street. Welcome, neighbors from Vault Thirty Two. Lee Moldaver, Overseer of Thirty Two. Oh, we were sorry to hear of Overseer Jackson's passing in your telegrams. When blight hit our wheat, we lost a lot of good people. But this trade help us get back on our feet so who am i marrying <laughs> gonna be pick one is that the uh oh i'm lucy do you have a name monty okay because he's extremely good looking and i only know that because his face is symmetrical that's how you can tell so something, but he's, something's gonna be so if either he's 
crazy. They're all crazy. Or he's going to die very quickly. Why would she need to leave? The vault. Sorry, I'm asking too many questions. I do that shit. So what's your sperm count? Uh. Your vaults, doctor, must check every physical, no? And sperm is pretty important in perpetuating America, <laughs> so... I have no idea, to be honest with you. I just assume a tie. We are bonded, not just as neighbors, but by a shared duty. To keep the candle of civilization lit while the rest of the world has been cast into darkness. Radiation levels on the surface are dropping fast enough that the next generation, Lucy and Monty's children, will be able to recolonize. <laughs> I'll admit I'm sometimes afraid that mean old world will change us instead. But then I look at my daughter. And such a beautiful bride. And her new husband. And I am not afraid. I feel hope. Well then this music in the background would indicate otherwise, bro. What's this actress's name? Ella Purnell? I think that's her name. She's nailing this whole naive character right now, you know, which is going to make everything so much funnier. When you feel her call you, let's dance. Yeah, you can hook up with her now. Show me to my new home. <laughs> Something's going on. Oh, isn't it great? Every big moment of our lives is going to happen right here. Uh oh. I'm sorry. Everything with the hand me downs and ice box. Does he not have a penis? Ava. He half robot? I hope that's just a human butt. Any? Okie dokie. Oh no, he's just got naked quickly. He just pulled the naked man. That was a How I Met Your Mother reference. But they're married, so just situationally, that's not very similar. I feel like her cousin right now. I mean, that uh, I'm jealous. I hate that guy. I hate Monty. Fuck Monty. Is that his name? I don't care. I hope I got his name wrong. Oh, they lied. There's no hope. What? Wow. Wow. Oh, they are. They killed everyone else. Or something. Well, this guy is crazy. Darn is back. Yep. Yep. Everyone in Vault 32 started killing each other. Good twist. You're from the surface. Oh, he's from the surface! Yep. 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 He's a protagonist. Fighters. He's. Well, he's the protagonist from three. Decided not to give everyone water. She's trying to fight. Fuck. All right. So the vault got thirty-two. Got raided. That makes way more sense than everything I was spewing. Just so you know, this was the best day of my life. Yeah. Why kill her? Join me, and together we can rule the vault as husband and wife. I kind of thought she was going to have to kill him. I didn't say that, but it was in my head. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Ah, she's going to be fine. Woo! You're a badass, Lucy. Oh yes, some sort of stim. She's sexy as fuck. 
Oh, shit. Wait a second. How many raiders were there? Oh, there were a lot of raiders. I didn't know she had this in her immediately. This is super cut. This is. Whoa. I love how this is kind of like the games where you're just picking up equipment. Oh, shit. Because this is how one of the games would start. For sure. 100%. Like if she, you if you were playing as her, this is exactly how it would start. When you find your <laughs> They're even dressed like the Raiders from the game, you know, with the little, with the bras and the shoulder pads. Freaking Tyson Fury over here. Get that jelly mold out of here! <laughs> oh! Oh my God! <laughs> Okay, yeah. Perfect. Enchanted evening. Oh, I love this guy too. Well, I don't know, I've only ever seen him in this, I think it was No Way Home. Not No Way Home, Homecoming and Far From Home on the subway. You may see a yes. Cake on your face? Oh wow, this is, this is really gory. Well. Her reality is crumbling. So she's just gonna have to leave because everyone's dead. And this, this, her friend's gonna get a fork in the eye. Yeah, let's go. Sir, please don't make me use force. Oh man, done. This guy does look like Tyson Fury. There's new beer. Yeah. God, this this show is a shy away from any of what we need, needed to see. I shouldn't be smiling so much with the violence. That's not who I am, by the way. Oh, he's alive. Well, his face isn't symmetrical anymore. My blessing has been revoked. We could have thrown a, like an 80s action hero line in there for Dad. That would have been a good one. I'm gonna drown him. In the pickles. So Dad... This is a beast. This is dope as fuck. Please stand by. I love this. This set's awesome. Oh. Uh, how many vaults they done this to? They clearly know what they're doing. I think I know who you are. Everyone knows who I am. I don't. They are the product of one of life's tricky little choices. So I'm gonna offer you a choice. Them or her. Whoops. Hey, 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 stop! Dad, please. We have to help us stop! You are my world. <laughs> look like your mother what the fuck well that's a mystery we'll find out the real world you should see it sometime she's gonna venture out to save him classic we're gonna blow up the What did the Raiders get out of killing those guy people? 
Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, we're getting all these character interruptions. See, the only thing that annoys me now is I'm so invested in Lucy's story that I hate that we cut to someone else. So they gotta do a good job with this one. Or create that same sort of investment with Maximus. What's a hell of a name. That works. A hell of a track record that name's got in cinema. Flesh is weak, but steel endures. I... I know. If they ask me, I guess I'd be denied. Johnny Cash is perfect right now. It's the duty of the Brotherhood of Steel to secure the wasteland. One day as squires, you will help knights find and identify pre-war tech. Can you identify this relic? Maybe something ridiculous. Rooter? Oh. A circuit. Unless you know what to find and preserve, you are more useful as a corpse. Wow. The budget on this show is hefty. Shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Imagine getting to put on one of those every day. Fighting them. I wonder why they're here. Wow. I got something I want to show you. The train duty is a two person job. <sighs> I said, come on. So I have to imagine that his thing here is going to, he's going to become disillusioned with the Brotherhood in the same way that Lucy's reality in the vault imploded or was destroyed by the Raiders. Maybe not disillusioned, but something's going to happen. It looks cool. It doesn't look like a toy, and sometimes that's the fear when you adapt stuff from video games. And also, okay. Aspirin Dane? That's why I wanted to be one. You're saved. Dude's jerking off. I mean, I didn't want to see that, but I'm happy they included it because that's funny. I just don't laugh. I just say that's funny. Sometimes you do that in life. You don't laugh. You just acknowledge things that are funny. True to life. But ridiculous. A bunch of us were chosen to get anointed. Hey, what's your title going to be? Squire. It's my Titus. And get this, we're going to the wild. Hell yeah! <laughs> Is he just going to get annoyed and steal the, some armor? Damn, that's more than annoyed. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Radiation? Well, now he's gonna get the opportunity. To oh, whoa. No, no, someone's, someone sabotaged on purpose. What just happened? Did they assume it was him? I have a proposal for the assembly. We send a search party to the surface to find my dad. To the surface? We can... Okay, I, I know we're just, we're brainstorming here and there's no bad ideas in a brainstorm, Maybe but a that's not something that we ever do. Or I know that. I but... know we're all hurting right now, but I'll first pry off. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that was Wanda Sykes the first time I saw her. Let's move on. They don't want to find dad. They did, they oh, this is her brother. Okay, I don't know if I missed that before, but that makes sense. A weak little brother that she protects. She has to be the strong older sister. Maybe he's 50 years old. I don't know. You can't tell with that kid. The, the only thing that's kind of annoying me with this show right now is the, the music's a little melodramatic at times and in your face with the how telling you how to feel. It's a little much at times. 
Like even now, we didn't need. To, I get that she's motivated. I when she saw the poster, don't lose your head. They gave us the beat. It's a heist. It's an escape. She's gonna do it without the approval of others. But that's uh, forget that gripe. This is amazing so far, in my opinion. I'm really enjoying it. Well, this cousin, this cousin's just thirsty. Of course, he'd do whatever you told him. He's got a kind face, though. I shouldn't judge him. Again, this Lucy's setup here really does pay homage to the game. Usually, you're looking for somebody. Going back, okay. Storm. I can't. Cool. I'm going with you. Oh no. Oh, she's not. Not naive at all. It seems. Home. Also, there's something about a bunch of stuff about her dad we don't know. That's another thing that's very true to the games. The ones that I played, I only played the two. Or Fallout 3, or was the one I had spent the most time with. I watched some streams of four. Fuck me, are you serious? Stop! Lucy! Are you mad? It's already open, just let her walk no, out. Come back here right away! Oh. Okay. Mercy, no! That didn't work. <laughs> no. Lucy, no! Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Rad meter, nice. I love that that's the first thing we heard. Oh, fuck. Damn. It's insane how far we've come when it comes to television shows and the budgets they're awarded. This is a full-blown cinematic experience, this show. For Los Angeles? Of course. That's where, that's where Cooper was. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Okay. Okay, it was Maximus. They hooded. We expect you to give us the truth. Why did you join the Brotherhood? To hurt the people who hurt me? Hmm. Dude, he pulled an Indiana Jones. Do you know who did it? No. I, I wouldn't. Why not? Your friend was promoted, you were not. You have ambitions, don't you? Speak. I, I didn't. I didn't do it. I did not. I... Wow. I, I, I wanted it to happen. Is that wrong? Oh yeah, this will tell the truth. This will work. Yes. Violence? against a brother of steel is a sign of weakness. What are you? Weak? I don't want to be. I... Damn, dude. These knights are... The presence is cool that they've established. Just don't let them take their helmet off. Don't ever let them take their helmets off. They ruined Master Chief. Ruined Boba Fett. Only in conversations with the protagonist. Let them flip their helmet open, see their stupid face, and then... I, I had no place in the world. If I can help the Brotherhood make it better, Eden, or whatever, even if it means giving my own life, I'll do it. Good boy. You're officially a zealot. And you will be Knight Titus. Yeah, I knew there would be Squire. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, the Brotherhood of Steel is very culty, you know? You'd think they wouldn't wear robes and play into that stereotype, but they do. Do you accept? B for Titus. It is believed that the denizens 
of the Enclave has escaped. And that he has with him an object of profound potential. Each knight in this legion will search a section of the wild for this target. Uh, yep, a dog companion. <laughs> nice. Nice. Woo! Oh, he's just their caddy. Super cool. Hey, well, I wish I was watching this on a big screen, to be honest with you. Or in a theater. On my small little Sony TV, because they've really made this feel engrossing. What the? Was that a baby flag he shot into him? Probably a toy. Doll. Don Pedro has our friend dug up once a year, cuts some pieces off, and puts him right back in the ground. Elston Limehouse. Dude, two actors from Justified are in this. Sorry, I forget his name. I love him, though. He's a great actor. From Forrest Gump as well. Bubba. I'm not going to say his name because I can't pronounce his first name correctly. Williamson. Last name. A feral goon can't abide a chicken. If he goes for him, we kill him. Uh, uh, it's going to be Cooper, who's not feral. He's civilized, probably. He's not going to be in the coffin. Oh yeah, it is. There he is. You know, it would have been cooler if they didn't put him in the trailers. I, it was cool to hype it, but this would have been a nice reveal. I shouldn't have watched the trailer, I guess. Oh. They'd be like, oh, it's the guy from the beginning! And we'd kind of forgotten about him, you know? That's trailers. And promotion. Oh, material. Well, well, well. Why, is this an Amish production of the Count of Monte Cristo? Or just the He's just boy Crowder. <laughs> He's just boy Crowder. <laughs> Limehouse knows that, too. Oh, he does want the check in. Should I shoot him? We got a proposition for you. A bounty came down. A huge one. Oh, so he's a renowned bounty hunter. Somebody made a run from the Enclave. Oh, everyone's looking for this dude. Dead witch molding in California. That's where you from, ain't it? Mm, okay, so... Well, I tell you what, boys. Whenever somebody says they're doing one last job, that usually means their heart's not in it. Probably never was. I do this shit for the love of the game. <laughs> Dude, I love this character. Dude, he's so fucking cool. The ghoul. Look, I, I if, if anyone watching this hasn't seen Justified and you like this character, you gotta see Justified because this is Boyd Crowder's this guy, pretty much. You right, friend, about one thing. This right here was your last job. It's the same voice and everything. See, us cowpokes. <laughs> we take it as it comes. What a hell! That's a hell of an introduction, and that's all he needed in addition to the cold open. And, and and it's my favorite character. Everyone else got all that time. I mean, by everyone else, I just mean Lucy and Maximus. When they drop that bomb, all these credits are on point. Through the fallout. With the greatest of a plum. This song's great. 
when your white for this. Also, I just realized that that is how the plot of Fallout 3 starts. I think I said that. That it's, it's just your kid looking for your parent. I hope we get Galaxy News Radio. That'd be awesome. All right, I'm going to make this review quick because I want to get this video up like now. Hopefully within an hour after I'm recording this part right here. For the most part, this was a fantastic setup. And I was very impressed with what they were able to do. I'm tempted to say it's perfect. Especially because I know it's getting a lot of praise online. I've seen headlines and stuff. Since all of the episodes have become available on Prime, fans are seem to be pretty happy based off the noise. The world building was on point. Incorporating things from the game. The vault tech. Everything in the vault. The aesthetic of the vault. Those sets were incredible. Watching everything with Lucy was eerie and uncanny. I think both those words work very well in that sentence. However, I don't think this episode was perfect. It was a fantastic setup and I enjoyed the fuck out of it, but I don't think it was perfect. What was perfect was the prologue with Cooper and then the closing scene with him as a ghoul. Those two th scenes mirroring one another. In the beginning, he lets dudes talk shit to him. The world is civilized and so is he. Cool, calm, and collected and at the end, He's this ghoul who doesn't take shit from anyone. He's savage. I hope moving forward in maybe an episode, I would, wouldn't even mind if there was an entire episode devoted to him becoming a ghoul, being exposed to radiation, and then descending into who he is now. So I thought everything with him was on point. He is the most interesting character in my opinion, both because we lost this period of time with him. What happened to his daughter? I assume she's dead. But also they've done a lot with his dialogue and the conversations that he's had to paint a picture of who he is, I feel like at least. While I think Lucy's setup was absolute perfection in regards to introducing characters to the world 219 years after the bombs dropped, I don't know how confident I am in her as a character, and here's why. I think all good stories need to set up the beginning of an arc. They did that with Maximus. He's this weak guy who wants to be strong, which is... I guess his main motivation for joining the Brotherhood. So they could do a lot with that. Lucy is just an extremely competent and well-trained vault dweller. Who by all accounts should fare pretty well in the wasteland. I made a lot of assumptions about her being naive and innocent. Because in my mind that would have been the natural way to set up her character. As someone who's just a fish out of water the second she steps out of the vault. But they've already established her as very competent. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work moving forward. I think it would have made it for a stronger series if she was a tad bit more naive. It would make it funnier for sure. And maybe that's what we'll see in the coming episodes. I'm very invested in her story because of everything that's happened. But again, I don't know really who she is as a character that much. She's just really good at everything. And perhaps the only reason I'm levying those concerns with her character, and then maybe Maximus a little bit, is because I'm getting... And I hope once they meet up, this is not the case. I'm getting Rey and Finn vibes from Star Wars. Don't fault me for being cautiously optimistic. We have to be. But I suppose you could also make the argument that Lucy is a very good circuit for the audience here. Especially if you want to think of her like the main character from one of the games. Who wouldn't be very developed at all. It is, no, none of them are very developed at all, to be fair. It's the first fucking episode. I just don't know what they're going to do with her in regards to character development. Like, what's the lie that she believes? What, what, what sort of truths can they confront her with that she didn't already confront in this episode? I, I suppose stuff with her dad. I'll speak on the jumping around from character to character outside of the prologue and the final scene. Obviously, the majority of this episode was devoted to Lucy and Maximus. The pacing of Lucy's stuff was so well done. The direction. This might look a little weird in the video because I'm recording it after I recorded everything else. I just wanted to say quickly because I forgot that Jonathan Nolan's direction in this episode, I think when you spend so much time money and effort building the world the look and feel the attention to detail which again this episode killed in a good way directors can be tempted to have wide shots and show everything and be like look what we achieved which this this episode does do but in the important moments the character moments the emotional moments it's very intimate 
We know the world's there. We know it's beautiful. We know it's faithful. We know it's awesome. But we need to be focused on the characters. Uh, a good example of that, one of the best examples of that, is in the prologue when the first bomb is dropped. We just see the reflection of the bomb in the sliding door of the house. The people watching TV and then the focus is mostly on Cooper's daughter's face. That was brilliant. There's a lot of moments in this episode that do that. Mise-en-sen, as they say, is on point. I think I've said on point a lot in this review. And that sort of shit excites me. Recurring thumbs up, which is like, okie dokie, that's Fallout. You know what I mean? Because, like they explained, with the mushroom clouds. The cinematography. Although I was surprised how clean the cinematography was in this show. It almost did have a Westworld look and feel in that regard and maybe i thought fallout when it was finally adapted would have a more of a chernobyl vibe maybe look more like the last of us but i'm fine with this regardless i mentioned it in my reaction when they cut to maximus stuff it killed the pacing a little bit that's the risk of trying to establish multiple characters in one episode from a gamer's perspective you could say something along the lines of maybe they should have just stayed with lucy and then met the other characters through her as she went into the wasteland, we got introduced to the world of Fallout through her POV. Maybe that would have been really cool and faithful to the game. But this episode in general was extremely faithful. And again, I'm being critical. I don't remember as much about the games as I wish in regards to plot and character. Or just plot. I guess character is not that important. Unless we meet people from the games in this show. But I feel like when I played the games or at least Fallout 3, I didn't meet the Brotherhood of Steel until later on, which made them not only intimidating and imposing as a force, but surprising. Does anyone else feel like maybe we shouldn't have met them so early? I guess it doesn't matter. So maybe the next episode will spend a lot of time establishing how desolate and desperate the Wasteland actually is, because we didn't get that, other than the Raiders and what they implied about the world above. We didn't get much of that in this episode. The following episodes are going to tell a lot. Uh, the dynamic and chemistry of these three leads, once they inevitably meet up, is going to make or break the show, probably. But so far, so good, I guess. I think overall, lore, as far as I can tell, and world was handled very well in this episode. Pilot introductory episode. I was disappointed Ron Perlman didn't say war. Or never changes. But I have a feeling they might throw that in later on. You can't give fans everything they want out the gate. You gotta tease them a little bit. You can't be that easy. All right, that's all I'm gonna say. I, I've already talked way longer, in not only in this video, but in this moment than I wanted to. So big love to everyone who was bored enough to join me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if I should keep watching the rest of this series on this channel. Given the time I have, I'll just continue it if this video does well. I mean, I'm going to watch the rest of it regardless. If I do continue watching on this channel, I'll probably just binge it. And like the next video will contain three episodes. Otherwise, if you hate me and you hated this video, drive me off this platform if you must. Otherwise, like, subscribe, dislike for cathartic reasons, drink water, stay young, and remember, don't be an idiot. Be a buffoon. Peace.